City of Stevens Point Finance Committee meeting, recorded April 10, 2023. Good evening, everyone. It is 7.08. We'll call the Finance Committee to order. It is April 10th, 2023. First item on our agenda is uh, roll call. Moro? Here. Shore? Here. Johnson? Here. Dalton? Here. Placentz? Here. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we will move into our discussion and possible action items. Item two under that um, is consideration of a claim from Mike Splinter for damage to a vehicle due to a pothole. There was information in the packet. Typically, it comes with a recommendation from staff. Are we? It's in the memo. It is it? I'm sorry. Too many things to read. Um, I would entertain a motion. Motion to deny a claim. I'll second. I'll second. There is a motion and a second uh, to deny the claim. Any discussion? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, please. I got a couple of questions. First off, uh, who's uh, Allison de France? She's the one who put this letter together, basically saying that there's no claim. Oh, that's with our cities, cities and Villages Mutual Insurance Company, our insured. Okay. Insurer. Thank you. Yep. Um, where did this happen at? There's nothing in here that stated where this it, pothole was. It should be, if you scroll down more, there was more attached, the actual claim. There was it's all the pictures out. and... That's probably why I his, missed it. There was a lot of... Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, enrolled. yes, okay. All right. Um, I guess my last question is, um, I'm sure these have popped up before, has the city ever paid on one? The answer would be no. At least not during my time here, we've never paid on a pothole claim. So this would be consistent um, in terms of not paying pothole claims. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Good questions though for clarification. Yeah. Alder Shore. No, I, I thought they were, no, no, thank, thank I you, thought they were great I'm, questions. So I, I, I'm aware this it didn't actually go through this process, but um, I am aware of a department that um, damaged the neighbor's fence to a park uh, that, and that they uh, made good on, on that. So it's not that the city never ever um, you know, takes responsibility yeah. for mishaps. Right, and I've seen that with uh, somewhere in here today about uh, mailboxes that were knocked down by the snow plows too that were fixed by the city. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just, I guess, yeah, a clarification of just potholes. Yeah, potholes. Again, I've worked for two counties and I've seen these kind of claims come to county board um, from the highway, for the highway department and the, the same outcome okay. as what we're looking at, so. Any other questions? Comments? Anyone from the audience? Nobody. Okie dokie. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions? Motion carries. Item three, approval of modification to the Ed Edgewater Relocation Assistance Program. Would entertain a motion. I'll move approval. Thank you. We have a motion. Second. And a second. Um, there was a great explanation to this. This was a great program. I know it was sad to see Ed, everyone was sad to see Edgewater go. This was a great way to support those who were the poorest of those living at Edgewater. Any questions for staff um, and their recommendation? Questions from the audience? Zero. All righty. All those in favor of the motion to approve the modification, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions? Motion carries. Item four, approval of updated investment policy. Um, you saw again a memo from staff explaining s how this would fit into the current policy. I would entertain a motion to bring it to the floor. I move approval. We have, second. We have a motion and a second. Are there questions for staff? Questions from the audience? 
I have one question. I always wait for everybody else. So it's in, in my world, in the world of solid waste, the investments that we hold for long-term care and for closure have to be at least, uh, they have to be treasuries or bonds that are double A plus and for a variety of reasons. And I see in bullet five on page 15 of 99, it does talk about those rating systems and, and how those particular securities need to meet that highest of either S&P or Moody's. Um, is there, has there ever been consideration of having that kind of protection even for uh, municipal bonds? Um, I, I think we can all remember 2007, 2008, 2009 when municipalities plummeted in their bond ratings um, and, and uh, for, uh, defaulted on their bo bonds. I, I don't know if that's something that's ever been considered. Uh, Comptroller, Treasurer, are you aware? Would it be something worth looking at to provide an extra layer of protection? Uh, we certainly could look at it. Um, so right now there is no, you know, specific requirements if they're bonds that are issued in the state of Wisconsin. So as long as it's a Wisconsin municipality, basically it's an authorized investment. Uh, and our investment policy really follows state statute pretty closely. Uh, but of course it would be to the discretion of the body if you wanted to be more restrictive, you know, with the investment policy than what state statute allows. Yeah. Just something to consider for the group for the future as another layer of protection. Um, so, anyway, uh, we have a motion on the floor to approve. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions? Motion carries. Item five award wayfinding signage contract to sign art. I would first entertain a motion. I'll move approval of the contract uh, to sign art. And I will, a second. And we have a second. Please go ahead. Thank you. So this, the community development staff have been working with the VIA Design Group to put together um, a, a package for the Wayfinding Sign Program and uh, the request for proposals with the VIA Design Group. Um, we received four uh, proposals and all of the organizations that submitted those proposals were reputable and recommended by the design group. And so after consideration of the um, four proposals, we recommend uh, sign art for approval. Questions for staff? I'll go to the committee first, please. Go ahead. Please. I, and a, I, not a question necessarily, but uh, I wanted to point out that it was more than just community development um, that was working with the VIA. We had the Convention and Visitors Bureau, many of the local businesses, the Portage County Business Council was involved uh, in, in regards to the entire project. Questions from the audience? Alder Nebon, please. Mary Nebone, 5718 Sandpiper Drive, District 7 Alder. I don't see anything in there about distances. Will there be, will there be, will there be distances on signs like 0.5 miles? Because if there's not, I'm not going. Yeah. People with mobility issues need to know how far it is to walk from one place to another or push a wheelchair from one place to another or ride a bike from one place to another. So in areas where you're directing people to short, in short distances, there need to be mileage or people won't go if they don't know how long it's gonna take or how far they have to walk. So I didn't see anything in there that that would be a consideration. So if it's not, I wouldn't support a, a vote, no. But if there is, and that may not have been decided yet, um, Anyway, that's, that's it. Yeah. And, to, and to answer that question um, of the designs that were um, submitted by via design group, they did not include the distances. The um, pedestrian ones. Except for the pedestrian wayfinding and specifically in the downtown region. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there can be some, some consideration um, 
for that. Um, my question is, did SignArt leave a million dollars on the table, or did they really want the job? I mean, that's I, I, I'm usually very distrustful when I see that kind of spread in a bid. Mm -hmm. So one of two things, ha it has to be one or the other. Staff were concerned also with the huge spread between the lowest and highest bid, but within um, uh, conversation with Avia Design Group, they uh, Avia has understood the request proposals. Uh, they've answered every question and okay. they've submit submitted a proposal that meets the specifications of the job. The and second, the second lowest bid is closer than the other two. I mean, it is still yeah. significantly higher. Um, on group one. It's still, even the, the the distance between on something this small in my world and building landfills, that's a fairly small amount. Um, that's still a, a big mm -hmm. gap. I'm assuming their reference is checked out. They have the capabilities. They have the financial wherewithal. They have the staffing. They have the equipment. Correct. They've they've worked on similar projects of the same scale and have executed. So they yeah. they are reputable and they've done a good job. Well then, yay us. <laughs> Other questions or comments? And I w would strongly encourage conversation about distancing, so. I have a yes. comment. Um, again, with what um, older Nebone had said, I think, I think she has a point about <laughs> having the distances um, it's because if folks don't know, they may not want to go, like Point Brewery or Sunset right. or some of the other activities that we have, they don't know how far it is. Yeah, good point. Thank you for that. All right, we have a motion on the floor in a second and a few questions answered. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions, motion carries. Item six, approval of contract with Avia Design Group for, got to get right back to my agenda, I only have part of it, for the production and installation oversight of wayfinding signage in the amount not to exceed $10,500. I would entertain a motion. I'll move approval of the contract. Excellent. And is there a second? I'll second. We will give it to Plaisance. Any questions, comments? There is an indication in the March 29th letter that they intend to finalize the message message schedule. So it does chance. sound to, there's an opportunity to revisit the that distance. In, you betcha. All right, any questions from the audience? Excellent. All those in favor of approval of the contract with Avia, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions? Motion carries. Item seven, my agenda again. Uh, approve application for grants for business incubator. You saw the memo. I'm so appreciative that someone's writing grants, so that's always nice. But entertain a motion. I'll move approval of the grant applications. I second. There is a motion and a second. Any questions for staff? Other than thank you for writing grants. You're welcome. Um, staff are looking forward to writing applications for the three programs that are included in the memo. Awesome. Um, the local food promotion program, uh, USDA Rise, and the Idle Sites grant to offset the cost of this incubator program that we've been reviewing um, and studying and planning for since October of 2022. Yep. Wonderful. Questions? Audience? Excellent. All those in favor, uh, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions, motion carries. Good luck with that. Um, item eight is approval of the claims paid. I would entertain a motion. Nobody uh, approve, wants to. Uh, approve for um, money all, for bills already in. <laughs> for money already spent. Already spent, <laughs> we're going okay, I'll that's second. fine. <laughs> Process, 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 right? Any questions about any of the claims paid? Anyone from the audience who have any questions about the claims paid? 
Excellent. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. <coughs> Abstentions? Motion carries. Item 9, adjourn into closed session approximately 6.50. We blew that again. Um, it's 7.23. Pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.85, paren 1, paren E, for the purpose of deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investing of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session on the following. A, negotiating the acquisition of the property located at 5498 Gala Road, parcel ID 02024082168 or 826-13.05, and an unaddressed parcel bounded by Gala Road and Regent Street, parcel ID 02024086-14.05. Would entertain a motion. So moved. All right, I'll second. We have a motion and a second. And typically we do a roll call, though it's not required. required but to, aren't we? Are we not required? It's, no. I thought we do for State law closed. doesn't require it. It's just oh. customary. Morrow? Aye. Shore? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Dalton? Aye. Placents? Aye. Okie dokie. We have all voting in favor. Therefore, at 724, we will move into closed session. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the acquisition of the property. I'll second. And the property in question is the one for which we had gone into closed session. Is there any discussion in open session? All right. We have a motion on the floor and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed would be no. Abstentions? It's unanimous. Motion carries. It is... 757 and we are adjourned. Thank you everyone. A video of this meeting is available for viewing on the city's website, stevenspoint.com/videos.